sharing screen and Wednesday Bible study. How's everybody doing? So we're going to finish Daniel 8 and get into Daniel 9. Uh, and the vision of the evening and the morning, which was told, is true. Wherefore, shut thou up the vision, for it shall be for many days. Of course, he already said it was for the end times, for the end of days. And I, Daniel, fainted and was sick certain days. Afterward, I rose up and did the king's business. And I was astonished at the vision, but none understood it. it wasn't meant to, was he? All right, now we're going to go back to in the first year of Darius, the son of Ashurus, of the seed of the Medes, which was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, the prophet, that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandments. We have sinned and have committed iniquity and I have done wickedly and I have rebelled and have rebelled even by departing from my precepts and from thy judgments. All right. And we will move into John. Jesus just raised Lazarus just yesterday. And uh, then there were some things going on with the Pharisees. Let's continue. And this spake he not of himself, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus should die for the nation. And not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in one of the children of God that were scattered abroad. Then from that day forth, they took counsel together for to put him to death. Um, I want to read that into King James. I feel like I know what they were saying. But let's see what it says in the New Living. We'll try ESV also. He didn't only say this on his own, the high priest at the time. He was led to prophecy that Jesus would die for the entire nation. Not only for that nation, but to bring together and unite all the children of God scattered around the world. So that's why they said uh, prophecy. That's properly prophesying. So from that time on, the Jewish leaders began to plot Jesus' death. So that's kind of when it's kind of weird that, uh, and I, I believe he was, a, you know, a high priest of the Pharisees and so forth of the Jewish leaders of religious law that he prophesied that Jesus would, would die for the entire nation of all saved people, all sheep. And then they plotted his death. I don't know. That's just, that's very different. That's something I've never, um, I don't remember ever reading that before, I guess is what I'm saying. So, you know, that's why when I read it, I was like, let me go, did I really understand that right? As a result, Jesus stopped his public ministry among the people and left Jerusalem. So anytime you get into this stage in the Gospels, then it, you start getting into, uh, you know, now everything starts revolving around his death and resurrection. As a result, Jesus stopped his public ministry among the people and left Jerusalem. He went to a place near the wilderness to the village of Ephraim and stayed there with his disciples. It was now almost time for the Jewish Passover, which is when he died. Passover celebration and many people from all over the country arrived in Jerusalem um, several days early so they could go through the purification ceremony before the Passover began. And don't forget, John is a very different gospel than the others. There's no Olivet Discourse in here. It's very big on election predestination, more so than any other gospel by far. So his death, burial, and resurrection um 
obviously could be very different also. It's been two years since I've read it, so I'm excited to go through it. They kept looking for Jesus, but as they stood around the temple, they said to each other, what do you think? He won't come for Passover, will he? Meanwhile, the leading priests and the Pharisees had publicly ordered that anyone seeing Jesus must report it immediately so they could arrest him. Six days before the Passover celebration began, Jesus arrived in Bethany, the home of Lazarus, the man that had raised him from the dead. A dinner was prepared in Jesus' honor. Martha served, and Lazarus was among those who ate with him. Now, both the chief priest and the Pharisees had given a commandment that if any man knew where he were, he should show it that they might take him. Then six days before the Passover came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. There they made a supper, and Martha served, but Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. All right, very good. Just want to read a little bit out of the King James, close it out. It's always got a little uh, poetry to it. Sorry I'm in a bit of a hurry tonight, and love you all very much. Ask questions. <laughs>